we collect together literally millions of observations every day. From the surface, and from ships, from aeroplanes that fly through the atmosphere, but also millions of observations that come every day from satellites. And because we have so much information coming in, we need a, a really big computer to be able to process all this information and generate the forecasts in sufficient time that we can give the forecasts out to all our member states as soon as possible in the day. And the new computer, the Cray supercomputer that we're getting now, will give us about three times more power than we have at the moment. And that means we can start to represent more details of the weather that we can't really capture at the moment. SMWF has a long history of using supercomputers for numerical weather prediction, actually since the late 70s. We have used supercomputers of varying architectures, vector supercomputers from 1978 onwards, shared memory computers, distributed memory computers. We have always strived to keep our applications portable across the different architectures, which helps us to have competitive environments for our procurement and be able to choose the best supercomputer architecture for our operational and scientific needs. My work always concerned with uh, assessing the impact of uh, observation, particularly from satellite sensors. And that's a quite critical part of what we do here um, at ECMWF. We run a very comprehensive uh, forecast model, which is a simulation of all the processes that happen in the Earth's atmosphere, wind, transport of mass, clouds, convection, light, shadow, uh, radiative heating and cooling in the atmosphere. All these processes are simulated in the forecast model and are required to produce forecasts. And the better we do this, uh, the better the forecast is. It's crucial to be able uh, to test and assess the impact of this observation timely. Uh, having a supercomputer that of course is uh, faster than what we have uh, uh, currently uh, will enable us to uh, assess the impact of new observations even more uh, quickly than uh, we could do in, uh, in the past. We have a lot of ideas of how to make our models better, how to give more detailed forecasts, how to improve the resolution and the structure of the weather phenomenon that we can represent. But always to do that we need to have bigger, better, more powerful computers that allow us to implement these scientific advances. <laughs>